Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Right, guys, how's it going? We're back with Fallout 4. I've just met up with Travis, and now we're gonna try and find Vadim. You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, I'll get him to stay behind me. I go in first, and you... Stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, that could work. Right, so, in we go. Right, so Travis, let's see just how well he's able to stay behind me. <laughs> One of the issues is he's always going to be detecting me. Right, let's see what this terminal's all about. Brewery tour info. Right, so tours happen every half hour and can last anywhere from five to six minutes. Guests are treated to a bird's eye view of the brewery from our elevated walkway. The brewery is not liable for any patrons who fall from the walkway. <laughs> Might be relevant. We shall see. What the hell? Christ. You're so dead. How can you mess from there? For the love of God. I'm a little bit of trouble waking up. Yeah, I was going to remark on the monkey and the... Uh, <laughs> the dummy. And I completely missed the fact that there was a raider sleeping on the floor. Right, let's see if I can cook anything. Right, I've got this Radstag stew. Plus 30 energy resist for one hour. That's pretty good, yeah. So that's against laser weapons. If I come under some heavy fire from lasers, that's certainly something to consider using. Right. What was that? Sounds like a mine, maybe? Something on the floor. I can't help but think that... Travis is gonna get me caught a lot. Ah, uh, getting shook up over nothing. Who's that? Hey! Right, a shot to the torso should be good enough as a sneak attack. Not quite. Down it goes into the second one, though. And once again, right, this guy is bull. Down he goes. 
Hey, come in here, Travis. What? The... Right, there's only one left, I think. That's not good. Critical. Good job, Travis. Right, let's just clean up here. We'll deal with the bodies later. Right, this was the other guy who was in the bar. Nice. Now, where's the last one? Don't quit, do you? Ah, oh, man, come back. I was having Tell her, Tom, don't know this guy. There you are, you little bitch. Yeah, can't get through that, though, sadly. Down he goes. Right. Well, we're not finished yet, though. Travis is doing quite a good job, actually. Surprisingly so. Right, so this is probably the top level. Or not. <laughs> right, bull. Yeah, these guys aren't brilliantly equipped either, to be honest. Christ, Travis. <laughs> Making me a little bit jittery. That's interesting, the greaser jacket and jeans, plus two luck. It wasn't lucky for him though, was it? <laughs> right, just going to have a look around here to see if there's anything interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's really sweet guys. Right, bobby pins. Commonwealth Unlock Advanced. Interesting. That's it. Now where's this gonna take me out to if this was an advanced lock?
Yeah, no, we're really just another way out. Or is this the front door? <laughs> Right, we're here to rescue Vadim. This looks like the only way over. What was that? Right, we found him. Picket fences, what's this one again? Nice, you're now able to build picket fencing at settlement workshops. There's an elevator. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are a good woman. <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> They... they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis... Nice. I am We're so out to surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I... I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Man. What a day, huh? <laughs> hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. It's just another day for me, though. This is all just another day for me. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Not me, though. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Pretty sure you lost your virginity as well, Travis. <laughs> or he should have done. Interesting. What can I do? My righteous authority. Nice, I've actually got some more mods I can do. Let's check out the standard capacitors. So this must be the one that I've got, yeah? Is it? Right, so the Photon Exciter. Improved critical shot damage and accuracy. It's already got double damage on crits, yeah? So this is something that could be really nice. <laughs> this one adds burning damage and improved range. The range is not that really awesome though. It goes from 203 to 204. Right, boosted capacitor. It improved damage but reduced ammo capacity. Hmm, that is quite a big damage increase, isn't it? From 26 up to 32. That's 20%. However, I'm not sure I'm willing to take the reduced ammo capacity. I reckon Photon Exciter is the way to go. Christ, look at all this stuff. But let's try it out. Right, so the standard capacitor must have been what I had because now you can see I can attach this mod if I want. And if I now go down to the Photon Exciter... Now I wonder if I can put a standard capacitor elsewhere. There were more of course, but I can no longer use the Comfort Grip, so I must have run out of the materials for that. That's pretty interesting all the same. Yeah, I've got, it's got to be said that all these modifications and stuff really add to the game. It's this a medium scope. I can put glow sights on, but it actually reduces accuracy overall. Yeah. Right, let's not bother with that for now. Gwinnett Brew Recipe. Nice. Now, if found, please return to your local Gwinnett Brewery for a cash reward. Interesting. Right, so Tower Tom's Terminal. It's going to be a nice and easy one. 
All right, so let's start with wake and maze as we've got the A second and the E fourth, and we've also got wave. So the smart one to go with would be wave or wake. Now, it doesn't really appear to matter which one I take. All right, so there's two likenesses, which means it can't be wave. So it's almost certainly going to be maze, yeah? There we go. Right, so trouble. Right, so somebody called Sparta and her crew were sent out to find some rations. The federal stockpile, Lily and Red Tourette's parents. Hmm, okay. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Right, so we tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily, Red and crew wiped out half our men before we could bolt. Dreg and Hook managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple of snack cakes. Right, so Lily. Dreg brought the hostages from the raid up to my room and the second I saw her, I knew we were saved. Now Red will have to deal with us, unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces, right? <laughs> Ray does, eh? <laughs> so much food. <laughs> Never seen so much food. <laughs> When I told her we had our sister, Red thought I was full of shit. But one letter from Little Sis cleared things up real quick. Right, so at this rate we'll be able to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. So again, Corvega. Problem solved. Interesting. Rumour of a fat caravan train drifted in today. The whole crew went to hit it except it never showed because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. I think she even improved the flavour. Hmm. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food keeps coming in. And that means the Lily's letters have to keep going out. <laughs> a nasty piece of work. Right, so Corvega. Seems somebody took down Jared. That would have been me. Much as I hated that came hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. Well, I reckon he was slightly more difficult than this crew here. But these guys don't need to worry about guns anymore either. No. Helmeted spike armor. That's interesting. Although the chances of me actually using it. There's a safe over there on the wall. No. <laughs> That's an expert lock. Nice. Right, let's grab all of that as well. Right, yeah, we've got this elevator and... Let's check out this Spike Armor Plus. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. Damage resist 13 and energy resist 15. I've got 165 hit points. And you can see down the bottom right my 20 damage and 20 and 12 damage reductions. So now, now it goes to 23 and 15. However, I'm losing 20 hit points. This is a tough one. Is it worth to take less damage all the time and have less hit points? This could come down to fashion. Uh, I'm not sure what I think of it. It looked pretty cool from the back with the hood, yeah? But... Hmm... Right, let's try this out, even though I'm losing 20 hit points. Consistently taking less damage could be handy. Right, let's see what the elevator's all about. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what it's all about, I just wonder if it's going to go up or down. Going down. Right. Probably going to take me right back to the start. Oh. What? Warble before? Yep, I would say that my my laser rifles really made things an awful lot easier. Now, was there a further way up? I'm going to go check that out before I finish up in here. Yeah, up here, wasn't it? Right, 
Medics. And some jet. Right, another door to unlock. Got it. A rad roach, eh? <laughs> I am an embarrassingly poor shot, to be honest with you. It's something I really need to improve on. Data corrupted. Data corrupted. Data corrupted. Right, that didn't really tell me anything. Now have I missed something in here because... There didn't really seem to be a great deal, was there? A terminal that told me nothing. Now let's go down. And back out. Right, so he'll back up and I think the smart thing to do might be just stick on all of my missions. I still don't have a, <laughs> a nuka cola for Sheffield. I can't believe I can't find a nuka cola anywhere. Right, now that I've got everything on the map, what's the most nearest by? I'm not going there because that's to speak to the paladin. That's the wrong direction. Kinda of tempting to come down here to do the baseball and the signed catcher's mat and stuff. Ah, let's go do that then. Or let's just say we'll head in that direction and see what happens. <laughs> and I will get there in four episodes. <laughs> Right, what's this? Oberland Station, and it has leveled me up as well. Pretty fast level, this one. I was actually taking a look at some of the perception stuff, like this pickpocket. Pickpocket is one of those things that I almost never bother with in any game. However, once you get to the end of this pickpocket in line, <laughs> you can place a live... It's actually the second one, yeah? You can place a live grenade in a person's inventory. You can steal equipped weapons. And you can still equip items. Maybe it's worth trying this out, yeah? I mean, the thing is, there's very little now that I'm actually bothered about. Yeah, this action girl looks quite nice, but I'm trying to use VATS a little bit less, and with this I'm just going to be using it more and more. Well, you know what? It looks like it could be fun, so let's give it a go. Especially this next one, this second rank. <laughs> Which lets you place a live grenade in a person's inventory. I mean, this has got to be worth trying out, right? If simply for the fun factor. The lols. Right. So I'm thinking I am now probably a pretty adept pickpocket. Let's check out this place. Don't know why I'm sneaking, it's broad daylight. And I've already been detected. Right, what have we got here? You've gotta help. My sister's been kidnapped. I wonder who this could be. Who kidnapped her? They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Why would that pay the ransom? Do you know where they took her? I'm pretty sure. I'll mark it on your map. Well, this is one that I can't really resist. Don't worry. I'll get her back. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know what I was going to do. Just bring her back safe, okay? Kidnapping at Oberlin Station. Right, so that's well away in the complete opposite direction, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Right, let's just continue on then. Now, what have we got here? Some kind of tower? And we may have something over here as well. Oh, 
Right, just a bridge. No. Christ. Right, so that's affected both my arms. <laughs> you can see my weapon. But I shouldn't be setting those off. I guess it's a mine no not a trap, yeah? Right, let's use my stim packs then. Now we better be on the lookout for more of these. This has got me pretty intrigued now. <laughs> Django's the moon monkey. What the hell? <laughs> right, I've been thinking about it. I just can't carry this spike armor around, the helmeted stuff. It weighs 17, yeah? And if I don't want it, then it means that I'm going to go back to spike armor. <laughs> So let's just wear the spike armor and my cap. I've also just realized that I was probably losing my sunglasses as well. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it because it means I lose my sunglasses and my sea captain's hat. So let's ditch this helmeted spike armor. No. There's another one there. Right, there's quite a lot of mines around here. As I was sort of thinking there might be. If you're fast enough, you just need to press E. When you see one. Hover the mouse over it, press E, and then you can pick it up. There's not that many actually. Kind of strange. How many areas must there be in this game? I mean, it is absolutely massive, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what is this in here then? Operations, let's go in. Right. A wooden crate. That's it. Nice, some right away. I'm gonna keep an eye on the floor. Take that turpentine. Hmm. Right, there really doesn't appear to be much here. What's this in here? I completely forgot you could do that, yeah? Ha <laughs> ha nice! Right, so there is something here after all. Yeah, you can drag some stuff out of the way, like hold down E. Actually, you just need to press E when you've got it hovered over. Right, so reactor level. This could be interesting. Lots of turpentine around. Right, have I missed anything? I don't think so.
better safe than sorry. <laughs> Right, let's take some rad X because well, I can't hurt put it that way. There's a lot of rads here. Mining helmet? Hard heart. I would have thought there might have been a fusion core or something, but I can't see anything. And what's this? A tool chest. This has definitely sidetracked me quite a bit. <laughs> Another hard part. Yeah. Absolutely nothing down there worth going down to. Now, where did that get? It's not very far. That said, it's made me realise I've got to head back to Diamond City and sell off all this stuff before I even go there. So let's just get back to Diamond City. I also forgot that I can fast travel <laughs> at any time I want. And the good news is there is a merchant outside. Hey, at least it's honest work. Right, so what I'm going to do though is, of course, my great mentats. Higher charisma, better prices. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Cricket. Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. You're a little bit odd, Cricket. I've got a few minutes to browse. Just think how damn good it'll feel holding one of these. <laughs> you can see here that she's got her money back, yeah? Yeah, I completely forgot about using my Syringer rifle as well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to bother. 5.2. I'm going to keep a hold of it for now, yeah? Now, that's actually quite interesting. There's a combat rifle that uses 0.45s instead of the 308s, but it is really, really heavy. <laughs> I just can't lug that around. That's interesting. A military cap gives me perception. I might use that instead of my seaman's cap. Right, once again, I'm going to buy a bunch of ammunition off of her. Especially these 0.308s. Now, what else does she have, though? Look at the damage on this muzzled 0.308 pipe revolver pistol. It doesn't have anything like the range of a sniper rifle, but damn. Right, that'll do it then. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. We're going to head back into the city. The dugout in. Maybe Vadim's going to be really generous and give me a, a free room or something. <laughs> For saving his life. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. You staying out of trouble? <laughs> you are checking up on me. I love it. Do not worry. I have cut ties with anyone who might try to kill me over debts. All is well, friend. Relax. Hey, Yefim. Glad we haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? It's still gonna cost me ten caps. Fine. Here's your caps. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Christ. Right. Anyway. I guess it takes a bit more than that before they get really grateful, yeah? <laughs> I will see you in the next episode guys, catch you later.